All right, we are back here on Sports Line. Phone line still open, 737-767. Have a completely clear bank. If you would like to get in, you'll have a short wait at the moment. Talking about the Titans, talking about the franchise quarterback position, Marcus Mariota certainly has impressed me to this point of the year. Some statistical anomalies, fl- frankly, for a rookie quarterback to come into the league and perform at the level that he has done. He's been terrific in a lot of cases. And even last week, he, he catches the touchdown pass, the lone touchdown of the day, catches the touchdown pass for the Titans. He's the only player in the NFL this year to have thrown, rushed, and caught a touchdown pass. So that tells you a little bit about how special of an athlete that he is. And he is also the first player in the NFL to have scoring plays that he threw one, a passing touchdown, a rushing touchdown, and a receiving touchdown of 40 yards or more in more than 30 years. You got to go back to 1983 in sweetness. Walter Payton was the last guy who did something like that. So Mariota has shown that he has the ability to really sling it. He's accurate. He makes good decisions. He makes quick decisions with the ball as a quarterback. He can run. And last weekend, he became a threat in the passing game as well. This weekend, though, he faces probably his toughest challenge yet. If he thought the Jets were multiple and do a lot of things in disguising what they're going to do, when you go in to face a Bill Belichick defense, you don't even really have an idea of what they're going to do. It can be very different week to week based off of what they think will work best against you. So this week is a big week of study and preparation for Mariota and the Titans as they try to get set for Bill Belichick and the Patriots defense. We caught up with the Titans quarterback today after practice. Facing a Bill Belichick defense? Definitely. Um, You know, it's going to be a great opportunity for this entire team. Uh, You know, the New England Patriots are a very good football team. Um, You know, they've been a very good team for a while now. So it'll be a, you know, a good, good challenge, and um, we look forward to it. What have you, what have you heard? I guess Belichick's got a pretty good reputation for going against rookie quarterbacks. Have you heard anything along those lines? And what, what do you expect? Down there? Yeah, you know, I'm sure he's he's going to do. Uh, he's going to game plan. Um, you know, something, something up. Um, but we just got to do our best to to handle that. You know, identify what's going on, and um, you know, try to try to use, you know our plays and use that as a as a mismatch and, and hopefully uh, execute better. Tom Brady, the guy that I'm sure that you've looked up to, to throughout your career growing up and all that stuff, what what are your thoughts on facing him and what are your thoughts of him period? Oh yeah, I mean he's he's been, he's a great football player. Um, somebody that's been playing at a very high level now for a long time. And um, you know, again, it's going to be a great challenge for us to go up there and play against him and the Patriots, and, um, you know, we look forward to it. Is he a guy that you sort of hoped to pattern your career after and looked up to him as you were coming up in the Definitely. Um, you know, the amount of success that he's had, uh, I'm sure any young quarterback uh, would like to emulate some of that. And, um, you know, hopefully as my career continues, I, I can try to, uh, you know, do some of the stuff he's been able to do. Patriots are known to game plan specifically and show things that maybe they haven't put on film before to attack an opponent. What's that like knowing that you may be facing something that they haven't put on film yet? Just got to trust uh, our preparation, trust what, um, you know, the coaches, uh, you know, and they put out there for us in terms of just our game plan and, um, you know, trust our rules, uh, things that, you know, have held up throughout camp and throughout this entire season and, um, you know, do our best to handle that. What do you think you learned, Marcus, from the, the Jets game specifically? I'm sure you try and learn something from each game. But what do you think about the Jets game in particular you'll take from, from that? Just handling different uh, components of pressure. Um, you know, they did a good, they, they did a good job of uh, mixing up some of their, uh, their blitzes. And, um, you know, for, for me, it's being able to, 
you know, understand that, you know, do my best to, to get our protection schemes and our offense in the best situations. And, um, you know, that's something I can definitely learn from, from that game. Did, did they do that as well as anybody that you've seen? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Do you have any any feeling of mental tiredness at this stage, or is that something you're able to kind of push through knowing that uh, it's on the Not at all. I, you know, it, it's – for me, I enjoy this game. I, I love it. I mean, it's – you know, it's it's truly a blessing to, to be uh, able to wake up and, and do something that you're passionate about. And, um, you know, I, I don't ever get the feeling of, of being tired. Um, you know, I enjoy the preparation, the process of it. And um, for me, I, I just, you know, take it for, for what it's worth and take each single day as they come. You've had your most success down the middle. How much of that's a function of the scheme? How much that's a function of, of the receivers? How much that's a function of being most comfortable throwing there and how much is it coincidental? I think it's a little bit of all what you just said. Um, you know, some of it is, you know, the defense that we're playing, uh, how they schemed us. Uh, some of it is just, you know, game plan, how we uh, want to attack, you know, certain defenses. Um, so I, I think it's a combination of a lot of things. And, um, you know, it helps when you have a tight end like Delaney who's, uh, you know, mismatched with a lot of those things. How much you notice? You talk a lot about Delaney, but how much have you noticed teams trying to take him away from you or will the double team with him doing things? Like yeah, you know, it, a lot of teams, um, you know, are trying to do that, whether it's bringing a safety down um, into, you know, the middle of the field to, to kind of help whoever's covering him. Um, so, you know, you see it. Again, it's it's probably what's going to happen again, but you know we're just got to focus on you know what our game plan is and um, you know do our best to to help him out and see if we can uh, move the football. Does that make it kind of all the more impressive that he's still you know catching six, seven, eight passes? Yeah, I mean he's he's a tough matchup for anybody, and um, you know for him to to continue to get open. Um, says a lot about his athletic ability and uh, him as a player. And, you know, probably going into these next few weeks, you know, teams will continue to find ways to, to you know, double team him or, um, you know, find whatever their, their best matchup is. So we just got to try our best to, to help him out and uh, find, find ways to get him the ball. Marcus, do you already consider your rookie season a success or are there some things down these final three games where need to happen for you to feel that way? I... I don't really look at what I've done. You know, I, I've kind of looked at what we've done as a team. Um, so, you know, I think we're learning and we're growing as a team. And, um, you know, now that we have three games left, hopefully we can take what we've learned and put them into these games and uh, get out get out with a couple wins. Do you seek out any advice from Jason McCourty on his <coughs> brother's strengths and weaknesses? In <laughs> I haven't asked him. I'm sure I'll, I'll get to it during the week. <laughs> At this point of the season, do you feel like you're still learning, or is it maybe you know that talk of that rookie wall trying to fight through the end of the long season? You feel that kind of a tug, push, pull as you try to. Keep well, you know, I think you can learn each and every single day you're out here. Um, you know, you can get better at some every single day, and um, you know, I learned at a, at a young age that if you just take one thing each every, each day and practice and learn, you know, you'll you'll be that much better. So I, don't, I think you can learn even if you're a 15-year vet. And, you know, I'm sure someone like Tom Brady would tell you that he's still learning about the game. And I think that's what makes this, this game so special, that you can continue to uh, learn new things and, and be a better player. With so many rookies around you on the offense, especially, has, has it been a matter of you all kind of learning and growing together? Yeah, you know, it, it's a part of our process. And, um, you know, we're, we're learning as it goes. And, um, you know, guys are, are going out there and, you know, putting out their, their best effort. And, um, you know, that's all you can ask. And we'll, we'll learn and grow as it, as it, as it comes. Your teammates questioned the effort in last week's loss to the Jets, uh, at least on specific plays. You know, when you guys review the film, uh, is there any kind of sense of embarrassment or sense that you guys need to really step it up this week at the Patriots based off of what you guys saw from last week's performance? You know, it, it comes down to each and every single player. And I think looking back on the tape, you know, I, I personally think that guys put their best effort out there. Um, at times we um, you know, just didn't, didn't make the plays, we just didn't execute. And that comes down to just how we prepared throughout the week. So, um, you know, moving forward, guys, you know, understand that they have to put their best effort no matter what. And, um, you know, that's, that's all you can ask for as, as a team. I'm sure coming in, you, you 
heard about Delaney very quickly and knew he was going to be. You remember maybe in the early stages of throwing to him, thinking about, wow, I've really got somebody here? Or was there kind of a, a realization early on that he could be what he's been for you? Yeah, you know, I think, um, like you said, coming in, you you knew uh, some you know some of the players, some of the playmakers. Delaney was one of those guys. You know, Kendall was another guy. Um, even Justin was a, was one of those guys that you know coming in, I knew could make plays. And um, you know, to see what he did on the practice field during OTAs kind of just solidified that notion. And um, you know, he's he's been a great player, and I'm sure he'll he'll continue to be one. You notice, you know, we talked about a lot of young guys in receiver. Do you notice a guy like Green Beckham doing things right on a more consistent basis, or have you seen strides from him over the last couple of weeks as he's played more? Yeah, he's learning. Um, you know, each and every single week. You know, if you know if it's one thing um, <clears throat> that he sees that he messes up, you know, he'll correct it. And um, you know, that's all you can ask for. You can, you know, put put your best effort, learn from your mistakes, and um, I think he's doing that. Did you work out for the various wrinkles that Belichick and those defenses will put in? Is it at all more difficult when looking at their film to come up with tendencies than maybe some other teams, or how is film study against the Patriots maybe a little different? Uh, you just got to, you know, take every game, understand maybe that they're trying to do certain things, um, you know, you know, to the opponent, whether, you know, they got some, you know, a big time receiver, maybe they're trying to do certain things of doubling him or if there's certain, uh, you know, for instance, with the Eagles, um, you know, they did some of their pressures certain ways because of the way they run the ball. So there's certain things that you go that you learn watching the film that they try to attack and, um, you know, it's going to be the same with us. We got to know what we got to kind of anticipate what we think they're going to do to us and um, prepare for that and react to what happens on Sunday. Is it maybe a little bit more of an anticipation battle with them as opposed to this is what we're seeing, this is definitely what they're going to do? Yeah, you know, you got to be able to be prepared for multiple looks and multiple uh, coverages and, um, you know, going out there, just stay true to your rules. Um, you know, understand what the coaches have taught you throughout this entire season. Trust that and um, you know, go from there. Did you work out for the Patriots at Oregon? No. <laughs>